to an animal a little cuter than that spider, the fuleco. Millions of people around the world know it as the official mascot of this year's FIFA World Cup, but the animal the fuleco is actually based on is endangered, and some groups say FIFA's efforts to help is nothing but a show. Susana Da Silva has our story from Rio. Life can be difficult for Brazil's three-banded armadillo, or tatubola, and it's getting harder as the Brazilian species is in danger of extinction, threatened by poaching and deforestation. We don't have a, a exactly number, and what number, I don't know, because we don't have so much studies about the, the, this kind of animal. But when the World Cup in Brazil was looking for a mascot, a successful campaign was launched for the armadillo. That was the original intention of FIFA saying that if we choose the tree band armadillo, somehow we are helping those people that are working with the conservation of this animal. And so the armadillo became fuleco, a combination of the words football and ecology. And across shops in Brazil, you can't miss it. Conservationists say sales have likely brought in millions of dollars, yet none of that money is going to its protection. FIFA said in a statement that it did offer the association trying to save the animal money, but that the group unfortunately said it was insufficient, adding that it received a number of requests from different organizations and that it had chosen to support another group working on climate change. The proposal of FIFA would be, would be something around 120, 130,000 US dollars. The impact of this kind of contribution, it would be really, really small. A 10-year conservation plan exists at a cost of close to 3 million U.S. dollars, but more money is needed to complete it. And while FIFA says Fulaku will educate people on the armadillo's endangered status, there is minimal information on its website and nothing on any official merchandise. 20 years from now, probably somebody will say, "Wow, well, what happened with the Fulaku? Oh, it, it got extinct because nothing happened after the World Cup to save the species. After Sunday's final, Fuleku will fade into history, and conservationists hope the same won't happen to the armadillo that inspired it. Susana da Silva, CBC News, Rio de Janeiro.